This is my 2020 SRF Premium, which I'm having battery and performance issues with. And I've read on the internet that other folks with this year of bike are having similar issues. So I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating what problems I'm having so that I could take it to zero and show them, as well as have other people that may be experiencing these issues have some examples to do some testing because my testing showed the problem was much worse than I thought. These are the issues I've been having. The range estimation is super low. The time estimation for charging is also super low. The battery quickly depletes when you're riding it. And the state of charge increases when the bike is resting, also known as magic charging. The fifth issue I'm having is hard to demonstrate in a video. Basically, when you charge the bike up to 100%, for the first 10%, the regenerative braking will click on and off. And that gives you the sense of acceleration when you're coasting to a stop and relying on the regenerative braking. It can be quite dangerous if you're not expecting it, but I was unable to really capture it on the video, so we won't really see much of that. But I'm making a note of it here in case others are experiencing the same issue. These are the testing parameters. Again, a 2020 SRF Premium. It's had multiple versions of firmware testing. The most recent is the one that's installed. I have some minor modifications, but nothing that would interfere with riding. I've got new tires. I weigh 190 pounds and I'm six feet tall. We're down in Arkansas. The temperatures are between 80 and 100. I'll be riding between 40 and 60 miles an hour, and all the charging is done on my wall outlet. And this bike's been kept between 20 and 80% charged for most of its life in a garage. So here's what I've been seeing typically on the dash. I charge to 100% and you can see the range estimation is only 40 miles. This used to read 90, 100, 110, but recently it's only predicting I'm gonna get 0.4 miles per percent of charge, which of course is very concerning. So I took this bike and you know I'd ride it to work, which is only four miles away and then arrive at work and I burn 10% of the battery for only four miles. And then I'd leave the bike parked in the garage and I'd come out later on and I would find that the battery had all of a sudden charged up to 96%. Here's another example where I started at 91% and I went 10 miles and you can see that the range is gonna drop all the way down to 66%, uh, so 25% uh, burned off for 10 miles. But then you come back out later and it's at 83%, which would be what I'd expect for the normal battery performance. So then I decided to just ride back and forth to work every day and not do anything else to see how many miles I could actually get out of this fully charged battery. So I charge it up to 100% overnight. I went back and forth to work about 25 to 30 times. And you can see I got 120 miles out of this battery. So that's the amount of capacity I would expect and that I used to get. But remember, I'm stopping in between trips. So now let's see what happens when we charge this bike. It was completely dead at 0%. I plug it in, and now it says all of a sudden I have 5%. Now you'll see the battery kind of start to charge. We get up to a you know, 10 amp current, and this is on my wall outlet again. And you'll see that it says it's only going to take 3 hours and 39 minutes, which is impossible. So let's wait three hours. We come back out to the bike, and indeed, it is at 100%. So you may be thinking, wow, that's pretty fast to charge a 14.4 kilowatt battery. But this is not accurate. So let's see what happens when we unplug the bike from the charger. So we unplug it. It clicks off. It still says it's at 100%. I put the key in, turn it back on. And it still will say that the bike is at 100%. You see it's 7.30 there. I'm going to now turn it off and walk away for a little while. And we're going to come back about 25 minutes later and turn the bike back on. And what you're going to notice is we've gone from 100% down to 39%. So that's just from letting the bike sit there. So then I decided to plug the bike in overnight and come back the next day. And again, we're at 100%. Notice the range still says 39. So even though on my last charge, I got 120 miles out of a full charge, it's not recalibrating. So this bike has no idea how many miles it can get. So then I said, all right, let's take the bike for a ride. We're going to plot out a 39-mile course, and we're going to just see how far I can actually get this thing to ride. 
So I basically took the bike out and I started along my way. Now in this beginning part of the video, and I'm not going to slow it down because you can't see it, I'm getting that lurching effect. Every time I let off the throttle, uh, the bike feels like it accelerates intermittently when the regen kicks on and off. Nevertheless, uh, the key part of this video is just to keep an eye on how quickly the battery is going to deplete. You can see that I'm already down to 91%. I've only gone about two miles. And so as we speed this video up, um, I'm starting to realize that my 40 mile plotted course is probably not going to work. Here we're at 70%. I've only gone eight miles. So clearly I'm not going to be able to make it my 40 mile trip if this is the rate at which the battery depletes. So I decided to go for 50% and then turn around. So here are the batteries at 50%. I've only gone, oh, let's see, 14, 15 miles. And so here we are on our way home, watching the battery just drop off like a rock. And you can see here, I'm getting down into the you know, single digit. The bike's limping along. It's not accelerating. And then I'm cruising back up into my driveway right at 0%. And when I park this thing, I've gone 27 miles, 100% to zero. Then I let it sit here. And here it comes, a time-lapse video. Over five hours, the bike sits and just magically recharges itself all the way up at this short period of time to 65, I came back out the next day, it was at 68. So here's the summary. Basically, I can get 27 miles out of a full charge. The estimated range is completely unreliable, and the estimated charge time is an underestimation by about threefold. So I'm going to bring this bike to zero, and we're going to see what they have to say, and then I'll update everyone. 